now these speakers are rated for 8 ohms each and that's pretty much what all speakers are in this category so it's right there 8 ohms In a test them. So, say for example, you're running two of these speakers on the same channel. You're actually going to be running 11 ohms. I mean, uh, sorry, um, 2.5, 2.7 ohms. So, instead of 4, you're going to be running a lot lower so what's up with that PB and uh, I'm gonna test the other ones here's the uh, low rider a little bit higher pretty close to the same to do it with one hand all right <laughs> this one's even lower way lower again this is a broken one it seems like it's just a basket that is broken the coil was fine I tested it sounds terrible though but it was working so I'm sure because of these. Also got here a uh, low max, but came broken. So I'm sending it back. So I thought I'd make this video before I send it back. And here is the magnet. So I'm going to show you what this one sounds like with its original magnet or actually I'm going to do the Lomax magnet first. It bumps pretty hard. So the screws don't match. 
The one's designed for um, for this aren't long enough. It won't screw in at all. And the ones designed for the low max are too long. If I screw it all the way in, it won't be enough. I mean, it'll be more than enough. So I'll go ahead and plug it in as it is. And I'll hold it myself. Now I'm gonna put it, I mean put the uh, original magnet in it. Now here are the speakers with their respective magnets. That is a low rider. Um, this is, I don't know what they call it, but it's also a Black Widow of course. 1808 ALCP. And the low max. that one's huge the magnet this big does allow for some extra uh, movement in the cone can move up and down deeper create a little bit of extra base this one is the most basic one I mean the box is a thousand bucks but would have been awesome if they just included the low riders instead. I know their QW series come with 1600 watt uh, speakers for a total of 3200 RMS. And that is 1200, 12, 2400 on the sub. And this, I'm not sure what they included on, probably on the uh, Verse Array series. It's kind of nice you can buy it on its own. So yeah, all that was done using just a, an iPhone connected directly to that using the 100 Hz uh, crossover. But yeah, and then uh, one thing I don't like about the low rider or this one's probably defective is that the base is not clean
Max is. So the low, I mean the low riders are really, really good. I would really recommend them on top of anything else. Um, this amp will push 2400 watts at four arms. So it was perfect for these boxes on each channel. But having those extra 400 watts on each speaker would be nice. Uh, you know, for protection and in case anything happens. I was thinking of upgrading to these, but came defective. And I have to wait and see if it's actually worth it. If not, I'll probably send it back. So far, I am really happy with the low uh, riders. Uh, I'm not sure if this one's just effective as well because of that noise. As you can see, this one with a bigger magnet was absolutely quiet and beautiful so yeah this is PV speakers for you guys I tried looking for videos couldn't find anything hope this helps and uh, hello yeah alright let me know if you got any questions in the comments